important to understand that your service manual will tell you all the nitty gritty details that you need that are specific to your vehicle, all right? All right, so today we're gonna be trying to do a complete oil change on my 2009 Honda Fit. So usually when I'm doing an oil change, I'm kind of OCD about it when I'm working on my vehicles. So I always have cleaning supplies, I've got brake clean. Uh, sometimes I'll use uh, rubbing alcohol and of course shop towels. Uh, we'll need an oil filter. I prefer these kind of oil filters because they make really long skinny ones to get to hard to reach places, but those will never be more convenient than having one of these with a straw. And plus, if you don't need the straw, you can always uh, slip the straw out of the uh, filter. We probably won't need this because I've been doing my own oil changes on this vehicle, so it's not ridiculously tightened, but this is just a uh, universal oil filter wrench. Those come in handy, especially if you want to start doing oil changes for the first time on your own. A lot of shops use wrenches and stuff that make it super duper tight so it's impossible to take off on your own. Of course, we'll need a ratchet and socket set and the new oil and oil filter. So this car takes 5W20. I always usually get uh, Mobile One Extended Performance or Royal Purple. And then I always get a Mobile One filter. Also Creeper, totally optional, but uh, highly recommend using Creepers. Make it a lot easier when working underneath the vehicle if you're a uh, garage mechanic. And then tire ramps. I already have the car up on tire ramps, but tire ramps make it a whole hell of a lot easier so you're not worrying about jacking up the vehicle and putting jack stands under it so I already have the car pulled up on tire ramps and everything I need I can easily get access to now okay so one thing that I forgot to mention while it's talking about everything that you need is you will need an oil catch can all right so I got that already set up directly under where the engine oil would pour out so anytime I'm doing an oil change the first thing I like to do is unscrew the uh, oil fill cap, all right? So by unscrewing this, we're letting air fill in there, you know, physics and whatnot, y'all know how that goes. Um, if your car is super dirty, clean the uh, surrounding area before you do that. But yeah, unscrew the cap, physics, air can fill in where the liquid is, makes it flow a little bit easier, right? Not all vehicles are this friendly for morons, but your engine oil is usually located at the bottom of the engine. So if you have a uh, front wheel drive vehicle, look in your engine bay and see, okay, engine is on the passenger side, transmission is on the driver's side, and then use common sense, find the one that looks like a drain plug and is on the side that the engine is on. But uh, this particular vehicle is very friendly and you can see right there engine oil with an arrow Hopefully you guys don't struggle with this, but this is a super friendly spot for a filter um, If I ever show you how to do an oil change on my other vehicle, you'll get an example of uh, the freaking nightmare that some oil filters can be the other vehicle is so horrible, but this one is super conveniently mounted so now that I've located my engine oil drain plug all I'm gonna do is get my hand in there and, oh there we go crack it loose with my uh, ratchet and socket oh and I did have uh, gloves on earlier but it's like 95 freaking degrees outside so I've opted out of using gloves because my hands were drowning in sweat. But uh, there we go. Just undo that a little bit. Kaboom. Boom. And that came out kind of nasty looking. All right, so this is where your cleaning supplies come in handy. I'm gonna just take a little bit of my brake clean get this towel a little wet and just uh, clean up this oil drain plug all right now what I'm looking for when I clean off this oil drain plug one is the plug itself like rusted to hell and back not too bad right another thing I'm looking at is this gasket so um, I'm not gonna take it off because I know it's good but 
the uh, gasket that's on your drain plug right here, sometimes those can get really shitty. And if those get really shitty, then you should probably replace that as well. Some oil filters will come with a drain plug, but uh, that's not with every vehicle. So um, you'll have to find what kind of size this is and try to find a, a drain plug that fits it, all right? So I've got my oil filter wrench with me here just in case this oil filter is a pain in the ass. It probably won't be though, because again, I've been doing my own oil changes on here and I don't really put it on there too terribly tight. So I'm getting back under the vehicle. As you can see, that oil is still dripping out of there. So while that oil's dripping out of there doing its thing, I'm gonna try to get this filter off. And there we go, so I'm just, able to easily grab a handful of it and start twisting it off. Didn't even need the filter. I'm gonna pull my oil catch can under here. You can see oil's already starting to come out from where that filter's screwed in right there. So I'm gonna try not to make a mess here. Pull my oil catch can under it. Back this filter the rest of the way out. There she goes, making a big old mess all over herself. I'm just impressed that I haven't gotten any oil on my hands yet. But uh, we will here soon, foreshadowing. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yep, that's, that's where the oil on my hands happens. All right. Set that oil filter down in there, let it drain. Now you can see I'm dripping oil from my where my drain plug goes and also letting oil clean out from where that filter is. This, the way that it is, I'm just gonna let it sit for probably like 10 minutes or so to let as much crap drain out as possible. All right, so I've let the car sit for a little while. I'm coming back now and I've got my uh, shop towel with some brake clean on it. I'm just gonna clean up some of the oil spilling on the bottom of the engine, as well as semi is driving by. Not a good road for a semi. It's odd. Anyway, I'm cleaning up around where this oil filter screws in as well. So that's the main main spots to focus on focus on uh, cleaning around where this oil filter screws in because you might be able to clean up a lot of used oil out of that and also if you're nice that's nice if you want the everything down here to stay nice and clean I'd also go ahead and try to wipe off the bottom of the engine and anywhere that you might have uh, made a little bit of a mess while doing the oil change down here. All right, now I'm going to prepare my new oil filter. One thing about these oil filters, some of them come pre-oiled with this O-ring, but I go ahead and I take some of my new oil and pour that around in there just like that, right? And then some oil filters are mounted just like this into the bottom of the engine. Those kinds, I go ahead and I fill all the way up to the top with oil. This one's side mounted, so since it's side mounted, I really don't have a whole lot of room to put a whole lot of oil in here but I still do like to go ahead and add just a little bit of oil so that's what I'm doing here taking my filter pouring some fresh new oil in there I didn't put a whole lot in because again as soon as you tip that sideways as soon as you tip this sideways some of that might drain out, right? So I'm gonna grab my drain plug as well and go back down under the car carefully here. 
freaking driveway. My freaking creeper's getting stuck in weeds. Ah, there we go. So, go ahead, righty tighty the drain plug in. Like so. And then I can righty tighty my oil filter in. So very carefully I'm gonna slide it up in here and start twisting it on. Alright, there it goes. I just thread it on. I didn't lose any of my new oil. These oil filters don't really need to be cinched down super tight, so I'm just going to hand tighten this as far as I can. Just like that. And then I've got my uh, ratchet over here. Take my ratchet and socket and finish the drain plug bolt and get that tucked in. There we go. And that's it for down here. So we're good to go ahead and start filling her up now. This particular vehicle takes 3.8 quarts, I believe. So you have your quart markings here on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead, set this down, take a look. We're at five quarts, somewhere up in here is five quarts. If we're going for 3.8 quarts in this engine, I want to have 1.2 quarts left over. So 1.2 somewhere down in here. So as I'm pouring this in, I'll be checking this, making sure I have the correct amount of fluid left over in my five quart container here of oil. And that's how I will know if I've put the correct amount in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in oil. As I'm adding this in, I'm paying very close attention to the filter, making sure I don't overfill this filter because this filter does have a very thin bottom so the oil isn't able to flow through it very quickly. So I'm just watching the top here, making sure I'm not going too fast for this filter to actually drain. All right. Now I've finished draining all this out, as much as I need at least, not all of it of course. So I'm gonna put this cap back on. There we go, got the cap on. And again, with this, I'm looking at the uh, quarts here and I've got just over a quart left in my container, which is how I'm telling whether or not I'm putting the correct amount in for this particular vehicle. All right, so the last thing that I would recommend that you guys do before you finish, check your oil. It's okay to check it cold. You actually wanna check it as soon as you put it in like this. So I'm gonna take my dipstick out. Again, I'm wearing my, my greasy oily shirt. So I'm gonna just wipe it a little off, stick it all the way back in. There we go. And slowly pull it back out. Now when we look at these two holes, right where my fingernail is, is as high as I can see the oil level. So I am just barely below the full line, which is just about perfect. That's about exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that back in. And that's it. We are completely finished with the oil change. So I hope you guys were able to find this video useful. Um, and this teaches you enough to at least get started doing your own oil changes. Trust me, it saves a lot of money because the stuff that I just put into this car, had I uh, requested it or if a, if a mechanic or a oil change place even had that good a quality of stuff, um, if, and I was able to request it, it probably would have been a $100 oil change. But the stuff, buying it myself, I spent about 50 bucks did it myself and this oil change could last me up to 15 or 20,000 miles. I still go ahead and I do it every 10,000 miles uh, just to 
you know take care take good care of my vehicles but uh this is hopefully going to help you guys out gain into doing an oil change on your own if you enjoyed the video please like it and share it with your friends or anybody else that might find something like this helpful and subscribe to the channel and stay up to date with new content thank you i appreciate you guys